And there's a lot of coins that are kind of on the way out right now, but I'm actually expecting oh, right yeah. more, yeah. more on the way out than on the way in that exit door is getting jammed. Definitely, definitely, definitely. But there's some surprising ones that I was like, wow, this is actually making it through. And other yeah. ones where I'm like, I'm not surprised at all. Like, <laughs> at all. <laughs> actually pretty glad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, and, and there's actually quite a few projects like with, uh, within a couple of L1s that actually might end up surviving, but some looks like they're jumping over to other blockchains and stuff. So there's actually quite a lot of adoption on, on AVAX and GameFi. A lot of GameFi, a lot of games are moving over to AVAX, but that doesn't really pump up the price of AVAX. It mm. more just they're using the system, but it's still good, you know, regardless. Well, it brings, it, it brings enough attention to it that when you do get in an alt season, I mean, right. you know, AVAX isn't going to die in that case. Correct. Yeah, it's not going to die, it'll but it's back. good. I mean, it's pretty sexy being able to go to a chain and then getting out your own blockchain on the chain. Yep. And I do have to put that a little bit over over what happens of happening where you have to keep essentially um, like on po so on Polkadot, you have these auctions and stuff in order to have your own blockchain on Polkadot. And you have to every I think every two, three years, you have to then you have to then buy another slot again, basically. And in, in order to in order to lock, I think you have to lock up dot or whatever, and then you, but you, once you win your slot, then you get your slot in. So yeah, the it, 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 yeah so it, the pair of chains and stuff. So it it, it could be the sort of thing where like we'll, we'll see how that ends up working out. But I do, but I do think this next cycle is going to be a big cycle for Polkadot. Actually, finally, oh, Polkadot yeah. and Kama are going to win, play really well as long as well as a couple other chains that are kind of in that layer zero space. You know. Yeah, and you just gotta understand, you know. Kusama's good price movement is going to be a little bit closer to something like Ethereum in terms of volatility, and Polkadot's going to be more like Bitcoin. Polkadot actually is pretty correlated and tracks Bitcoin pretty well. Um, it does actually still track the altcoins as well. It's kind of funny how that works. Um, but um, yeah, it's going to be, you know, the more conservative, steady any money, um, which I think is good, right? People need that in their portfolio, but there's some DGENs out there that get a little impatient. <laughs> Well, there's quite a lot of them out there for sure, but like the, there's there's a reason. Like let's just start to start this off. You know, there's a reason we're doing the course where it's at right now. We've been kind of in a way, yeah. just like Richard's trying to time the market. We're also trying to time the market. Not trying. We have been. I did. I showed on my stream yesterday. I, I wonder. If I probably still have.